Hi everybody and welcome to the Wine Festival Schedule project here on Code Academy. So before we begin, let's take a look at what we're trying to build. So let's click on the link right here and there you go. This is what we are building today. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, in index.html, inside of the div element that has the attribute class with a value of container, create a new table element. Okay, so we go right here and we create our table element. There you go, we click on save and we check the box right here and move on to the next uh, task. So inside of the table element, add a section for table headings uh, using uh, the table head element. Uh, then add two rows inside of it using the table row element. No problem, let's do that. So we go right here, we type in T head like this. Let's see, T head. And we are going to add two rows, right? So we go inside of the uh, table head element and create two rows like this. There you go, and we click on save and we check the box right here. And uh, let's see what's next. Inside the first table row element from task two, add a table heading element. Inside of that, include an H1 heading uh, with the following um, uh, text, wine festival schedule, okay? So we go inside here, the first uh, table row, and we're going to add a table heading element first. So we type TH like this and inside it we are going to uh, nest an h1 element uh, that says wine festival schedule so we type in h1 like this and we can just copy the heading that we are uh, we need to create so we copy that and paste it right here and we, when we click on save it's supposed to show in a browser Yes, perfect, okay. So we're done with uh, this uh, task. So let's move on to the next. So inside the second table row element from task two, add two table headings. In the first, uh, add an H2 element that says time. In the second, add an H2 element that says events. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see, so right here, we are going to begin uh, with the um, the table headings so we have the first one in place and then the second one like this and now in the first one let's uh, nest an h2 element uh, that says time there you go and we type in time like this and now let's go inside um, the um, table uh, table heading right here, the second one, and then create an H2 element. Let's see, H2 that says event. And we save, and now they're supposed to show up here. There you go, perfect. So let's check the box right here and move on to the next uh, task. So you may notice that wine festival schedule does not stretch across the entire table. So uh, let's fix that. Uh, in the opening uh, table heading uh, tag of this element, add call span with the, or the call span attribute with the value of um, uh, two. So let's add the call span uh, attribute right here. So we type in call span. And as I said, we give it the value of two there you go and we click on save and let's see what happens right here there you go now it looks much better right perfect so let's check the box right here and move on to the next um task so below the closing uh table um head tag section of the table using the table body element okay so we go right here and we type in t body like this and we click on save 
and we check the box right here. And now inside of the table body uh, you created in the previous task, uh, create uh, five rows using the table row elements. Okay, so we go right here and we type in TR TR like this. So we have the first row in place. So let's copy that and paste it four more times inside the table body element. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're done with this task. So we click on save and we check the box and move on to the next task. So inside each row, create two cells using the table data element. The first table data in each row should have the attribute uh, class with the value left. Okay, so let's do that. So we go right here. And now let's create the two table data uh, elements. Uh, let's see, like this. And now we are going to create one more like this. Perfect. And let's see what we're, what were we we're supposed to do here. So we have the table data elements, right? Um, yeah, we have to have them in each one. Uh, I'll get to that. Uh, the first the table data in each uh, row should have the attribute class with the, okay. So I'll go right here and add the uh, class um, left, right? Uh, so we type in left and now I'll copy that and I'll paste it inside uh, the other rows that I created, right? Uh, let's see. Mm, oh, my bad. So uh, I want to do it a little bit, that, uh, you know, better than, so that it looks uh, looks better. So like this, okay. And then we do it like this in the next one, and the next one, and one more time, like this. Perfect. Now it looks uh, looks good, right? So now we are done with. Uh, with uh, this uh, task so we can click on save and check the box right here and move on to the next task. So inside each of the five table uh, data elements with the class uh, left, add uh, H3 uh, elements that include the um, times of the events. Okay, no problem. So um, we go right, let's go, let's go right at the top or so right here, right? And we add the H3 element uh, like this. And now let's add the first uh, time, which is 12 uh, p.m. Let's see, like this. And now I'll just copy the H3 element and paste it in each of the other um, table data elements with the uh, class uh, left and then I'll change the time in each one, right? So like this and now let's uh, let's change the time. So here it's supposed to say 1 p.m. and then we have 2 p.m. and then we have, let's see, uh, 3 p.m. and then 4 p.m., right? Perfect, so we are done with uh, this task. So let's click on save and there you go, looks beautiful. And now let's check the box and move on to the final task. So inside each of the table data elements that does not have a class attribute with a value of left, uh, add H3 elements that include the name of uh, events. Okay, no problem, so we go right here and we create our H3 element. Let's see, H3. There you go. Let's see, where did I, oh yeah, right here. Perfect, now I'll just uh, take that H3 element, copy it and paste it inside each of the, um, you know, the other table data elements without the class of left, right? So we paste it right here, we paste it right here, right here, and right here. And now uh, let's include the name of um, events. So we can just copy each one, 
and paste it in the right uh, H3 element. So we begin with, begin with the first one, we copy that and paste it up top right here. Then we take the second one and paste it right here. Then the third one. There you go. We're almost done. And the last one. Okay, and now let's click on save and see what happens. Well, this is what happens. We have our table, uh, our wine festival schedule. All right. So this is it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, I would really, really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Code Academy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.